This video demonstrates how to get started with Helios 1.6, uh, making minimal changes to an existing profile and setup. Okay, here we are running the um, F18 profile by Captain Zine unmodified, so you can see even the RWR is messy, um, running on Helios 1.4. Um, we're also running DCS just to make sure everything is working and everything looks good. So let's start upgrading. Helios will replace the export scripts, so we have to uh, make sure that DCS uh, reloads those. And that's done by either exiting out of the mission or uh, switching to spectators. Um, you don't have to completely exit out of DCS. At this point, you would install Helios 1.6. Uh, replacing Helios 1.4 in the process. There's nothing special about the installation. I did uh, create a several minute video showing all the steps in great detail. If you would like, uh, a link will be shown in, uh, to that video now. The next step is to start the new Helios. Let's bring up Control Center and um, select the correct profile that we're actually working on and try to start it up. We immediately get some uh, errors. Those are the red lines and some warnings. The error says uh, that we didn't configure the uh, where our DCS is located and that's true and it tells us to go to profile editor. Have to open the same profile. Okay, so uh, we're going to configure, first of all, the location of the DCS uh, installation. In this case, it correctly guessed where mine was, uh, shown there on the left, quick, uh, quick links. And I'm just going to select it. And now it knows what type of DCS it is and uh, where the save games go and so on. Now, what's new in um, this version is that we can actually use uh, the UI um, Previously, when using a Captain Zine module, we couldn't use this UI or it would uh, overwrite the exports and break everything. At now in uh, 1.6, everything's compatible again. So we can actually configure in this section. So I'm just going to update the uh, update rate to 30 uh, updates per second, for example. Secondly, we have to tell it um, that this is in fact a Captain Zine module and not uh, one of the interfaces built into Helios. And more specifically, the F18 profile actually uses the A10 interface with a bunch of scripting. So we have to tell Helios that even though this uses the A10 interface, it's actually uh, an F18. So it says A10, but we're going to manually change it to say it's uh, actually a Hornet you can uh, complete or pull down from this list. Finally, we need to provide Helios with the actual uh, export module. So this is the only file from the Captain Zine exports scripts that we actually use in 1.6, just the file from inside the mods folder specific to the aircraft. Now this file gets embedded into the profile so that uh, Helios can set it up for us. So now it pops up a warning that says, you know, this export Lua uh, script was not written by this version of Helios. Are you sure you backed up everything you want to back up, like we said earlier? And I'm just going to say OK and overwrite the file. OK, I'm going to Control S to save. And back to Control Center and try again. Okay, now we're up. Let's uh, bring up DCS again. And start. Okay, we did get some warnings. There's a caution is on, and you'll see there's some warnings in the console. 
these warnings are actual errors in the profile. Uh, they're not, there's nothing wrong with our configuration. It's just that there are actual bugs in the profile. Uh, I recorded this video with uh, the original version of the F18 profile as distributed, and, and 1.6 just detects more errors than 1.4 did. Uh, Captain Zine has since uh, corrected those but uh, errors, but I'm uh, you know, demonstrating with a copy of the profile that you're likely to have. So that concludes the demo of uh, using an existing 1.4 profile without using any of the new features of 1.6.